Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I am here today to tell you all about my favorite five apps for self-care. So self-care is a big trend going on right now. I hope it's not just a trend. I hope that we continue to learn how to take better care of ourselves mentally, physically, and emotionally. And these apps tap into all of those different aspects because I did a whole podcast episode on this. It's one of my favorite podcast episodes I've ever done or by myself at least. If you haven't uh, listened to it, I will link it in the description box below. I go into what I define self-care and self-love as, what the differences are to me, how I take self-care in college, how I take self-care days, all of that aspect. So this isn't talking about self-care dates. This video is talking about apps that I use to help me in my self-care routine, in my self-care process. And they're free apps. Some of the parts of the apps aren't free, but I'm gonna to explain to you guys, it is worth it. Set aside a budget for yourself each month, just like you would, obviously you set a budget for food and for gas and for housing. If you can, try to set aside a budget for yourself because it is so, so, so important. And then you can put that budget towards some of these apps, uh, whatever you need. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first app I'm gonna show you through voiceover real quick. Um, and it is actually not an app if you have an iPhone, it's in your settings. And it is to check your usage of how much you are on your phone and then set limits for yourself. And you may be like, wait, Hannah, stop. This video is about how we can use our phones to help with self-care, and that is true. But I first wanted to start it out by saying a lot of taking care of your body is also taking care of your mind. And I think sometimes social media and our phones in general can be so draining and you just really need to have a good mindset uh, throughout your day. And so what I did, and I challenge you guys to do this, is I set a time usage for myself for social media. I said one hour a day and my goal is to get that down even to less. I think I already do less, but as you can see, I'm not the worst about social media in my phone, but definitely a little bit more than I would like, um, you know, for the how many hours I spent on social media this past week. I would have much rather been working on videos or something like that. This is a personal goal I'm setting for myself. And if you don't have an iPhone, you can download the app Quality Time is what I've heard works well for Android or on Google Play users. That's just what I, I just did brief research and that's what people recommended. So you can download that app or go to your settings on an iPhone. Now let's get on to apps, actual apps that you can use on your phone and that I hope will help you. Okay, so the next app focuses on working out. And I recently met the founder of this app. She came to my school and it was super awesome. And I loved her, I loved the app. And I said, okay, I'm gonna support her. I love workout classes, why? aren't I a member of this app? And I honestly don't know why I didn't use it sooner. Actually, probably because I didn't have it back in Knoxville. But in major cities like Nashville and so forth and beyond in other countries as well. So basically you get a membership to ClassPass. It's, it's like $45 a month for three to seven classes. You know, it's all works on credits, but they do have a two week free trial and that's what I'm still using and my roommate's using it and we loved it. I've gone to four different studios. I've gone to Neighborhood Bar. I've gone to uh, vinyasa yoga, I've gone to a Pilates dance class. You can book a workout class at any participating studios in your city. And if you travel a lot, this is perfect for you too. You can, if I go to New York next week and I wanna work out in New York, I can use it through ClassPass. So they have boxing, uh, yoga, meditation, bar, dance, Latin style dance. You can just have open gym, like all the different types of workout classes that you love to do are on the app and so, for me, a huge part of my self-care routine is taking a workout class. I actually just got back from one. I had a free morning and I decided to take it for myself, go to my workout class, maybe grab a smoothie on my way back, but I don't have to. Just getting myself out of the normal day-to-day -day gym routine. You have accountability, you have an instructor, so you know you're doing the moves right and you feel amazing, like you knew you accomplished something. And I love that feeling. I love the feeling of doing a workout plus trying something new. This app is perfect. I do just have the regular like affiliate codes that everyone gets when they sign up. So if you want $40 to towards your first plan plus two weeks completely free, click the link in the description box. It's just the one, the link that everyone gets when they sign up. So let's say you're not huge on workout classes. That's okay. I have a still another workout app for you. I used this over the summer and also loved it. It's when I had more workout equipment at my house. It's called 8Fit. And what I love about this is that it, it gives you workouts, yes, kind of like some other workout apps do, Swerk It, if you know that one. Um, so it gives you workouts to do cardio, strength training, gain muscle, lose weight, all, all of those workout aspects, but it also has a meal planner. 
I love using this at the end of the school year and the beginning of summer because I really wanted to clean up my diet. And so you can choose vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian options. And every week, every day, it's gonna give you your three meals and some snacks for you to make. At the beginning of the week, it gives you a grocery list so you know what to get. It can get a little pricey just because these are nicer meals and you're gonna need nicer ingredients. But if you love to cook and you wanna start learning how to cook on your own healthy, while working out too, then this is the app for you. Again, link in the description to download. Okay, so the next app is actually Groupon. You probably see the really funny commercials for these. And the reason I'm saying this is a self-care app is because you sometimes for self-care just need a break and you need to do something nice for yourself, whether that's get a manicure, get a pedicure, get a massage, a facial. Obviously you can buy other stuff through Groupon as well. You can get go out to a night, take yourself out to a nice meal with a, with a coupon for a nice restaurant. Like whatever you need to do for you, you can get a discount through Groupon. Partially inspired to make this video because this morning I got a discount for a massage. I'm gonna have an hour massage for $35 and I cannot wait. And so like I said, sometimes you just need a little me time Time, but that can get expensive, especially if you're a student or it can just be expensive in general. And that's why I love Groupon. They have great deals for your area, especially in the whole self-care realm. Um, so facials, manicures, eyebrow waxing, they usually have great coupons for that. And then my last app is usually, is actually sponsored in a lot of podcasts and YouTube videos I watch and listen to, but it is Skillshare. I've used this again in the summer. I was watching videos about it. If you want to create lifelong learning and just have that little extra boost of creativity or maybe you used to paint in high school and middle school and you loved it and you took a break from it and now you need a creative outlet again or you want to learn how to do new types of painting oil pastels or acrylic painting then you can find it on Skillshare they have everything from technology business art what like literally whatever you want to learn you can find it on Skillshare I'll have the link below also where you can download this one and get started learning something new just taking 10 minutes out of your day to learn something new, especially if everything you're studying in school right now or everything you're doing in work is really draining and you don't find any happiness in the work you're doing in school or at your job, then taking 10 minutes of the day and learning something. So that was it for this video. Those were my five apps that I'm using right now. It's in my self-care routine. Again, if you want more detail about what I do, then check out my podcast episode. I will link it below. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a great week. Okay guys, I love you. Bye, peace out.